is going on YouTube Nation? This is Dark Dividend. If you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. So I just want to, I was like not feeling good for the past two days. I was like coughing my brains out. My nose was running like a faucet. I'm just about 100% feel amazing. And um, I just want to cover a few things. First, I am not buying MPW. So... This YouTube channel is strictly for entertainment purposes only. So don't, just because I do something, don't, you don't have to do it. So I'm just telling you that. Everybody has a different investing strategy. As with the Yield Max ETFs. And again, I'm going to go over this. They're not the most reliable. This was a huge month for me. I made a lot of money with CONY, NVDY, and TSLY. I'll reveal to you the stocks that they bought, which is very good. Again, I have a strategy on M1 Finance to use these yield max ETFs to buy dividend growth stocks, to buy high yield, low dividend growth stocks. Okay. That is strictly my strategy with the yield max ETFs. I am not relying on them for my retirement okay great it would be you know x amount of dollars would be great a month but i can't rely on this okay and i'm going to go over tsly a little bit so there's a few things that are going on and i want to address those because i've done numerous reviews on tsly nvdy and cony if you're new to this YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. Smash that like button. Let's check out these ETFs right now. So the first thing I want to go over is TSLY is way down. They're sitting at 1016. In the past year, they're down 28.10%. As I said before, you know, don't put all your eggs in one basket. It's not going to beat the S&P 500. It's not going to beat Tesla stock, which I'm going to go over in a second. And um, it's just, there's a, I, I go by the box theory. Okay. I, I kind of explain the box theory with TSLY. And I, I do think it's kind of stuck in a box and I don't know if it's going to get out a certain price range, which I'll go over. First, I want to go over Tesla right now. I'm going to do the past six months. It's sitting at 217.98. It's been up, it's been down. So, the past six months, down 21.56%. So, I'm going to jump to the TSLY um, ETF on Yield Max ETF's website real quick. Fund strategy will cap its potential gains if TSLA shares increase in value. The fund strategy is subject to all potential losses if TSLA shares decrease in value, which may not be offset by the income received by the fund. The fund may not be suitable for all investors. So again, you have to be careful, okay, and it's very volatile. Tesla's very volatile. Now, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Now, the income that I'm receiving from TSLY is probably going to combat the losses that I've earned over time. So, again, I'm making a lot of money with TSLY. Over time, the loss versus what I'm making, hopefully there will be a return, which there's going to be a return because based on that. But a few things that I've looked at doing was converting my shares into TSLY into CONY and flipping my CONY into TSLY because they're down and CONY is doing really good. But I want to go over the trends of TSLY. I'm still going to hold on to TSLY and buy shares. What, I'm, what I had to do TSLY is I had to sell them and I'll go over that eventually okay with uh, what's going on it's uh, pretty positive right now so um, 
I'll reveal that to you in a little bit, but I had to take a little bit of a hit, sell a few things. So look at the trends of PSLY and it, the reliability is the issue. So April, 82 cents, May, 44 cents, June, 80 cents, July, 106, which is beautiful, August, um, 83 cents, September, 58 cents, October, 57 cents, November, 58 cents, December, 60 cents, January, 55 cents. So you're not getting the most reliability with that. So what I eventually will do is try to get to about 100 shares on E-Trade, use that income on E-Trade to fund M1 Finance with TSLY. So I'm at 662 shares, which is pretty nice. And I'll reveal to you the income um, shortly and what it did. I, I still like what I'm doing with it. Again, I have a lot of money to play around with being a travel nurse. I'm going to be picking up PRN a little bit. Um, but now this year, I'm going to be focusing on paying off student loans. I, I kind of want to be debt free. So um, that's, uh, was it 12,000 or something like that? I want to actually get that out of the way and um it's going to be very challenging probably to get np jobs because some people i'm going to i'm starting to study for boards so uh they're going to start saying well we need experience or this and that so um that's going to be challenging and i'm going to continue to travel nurse until i land a nurse practitioner job so hopefully by the end of the year i can get that out of the way but the thing is, my allocation of funds, I'm not going to be throwing 500 a week into M1 Finance like I did last year. I wanted to really turbocharge it, go from there. The market was taking a huge hit. It was a great time to do that. So I'm going to kind of discuss some of my investing strategies that I plan on doing with M1 Finance. And I want to get to the point where I don't want to touch it anymore. Let the dividends do the work for me and buy more shares and buy my dividend growth stocks and yield max is helping out with that so that's one thing that's positive so i'm going to jump to cony etf so this is one sitting at 2052 and again all these are taking a hit right here i mean nvdy they were a little bit well they're actually up but tsly qqqy apples down so Again, I mean, you're better off doing options with these individual stocks. So Coinbase kind of does the same thing. So I don't know if we're going to get the amount of income that Coinbase is going to deliver, which I'll sh or the CONY ETF will deliver. Let's jump to that. And here's what their most recent trends are. 120, 107, 246, and 269. I can't completely rely on this for passive income. So Coinbase will go up. And again, going back to this, the fund strategy will cap its potential gains if coin shares increase in value. The fund strategy is subject to all potential losses if coin shares decrease in value, which may not be offset by income received by the fund. The fund may not be suitable for all investors. So just to make it clear, this is why I don't have all my eggs in one basket. Now, I'm going to jump to kind of my box theory that I have with TSLY. Okay, so I'm going to call it a box. So it's not going to jump up a certain price. It's just going to be locked. So if I did a little square kind of like that, it's going to be stuck there. Okay. I doubt it's going to be $18. Now, I'm not giving financial advice. I'm just telling you, it's going to be like QYLD, RYLD, NextYLD. This is what I'm seeing. I can't, I could be totally wrong. It could jump up like crazy. But I don't ever see it jumping back to $15. I'm just going to be honest with you. So it's going to be stuck here, less than $15. I can see it going to eight or seven dollars. Now the risk is, okay, it's going to be stuck there. 
So that's not going to be attractive to investors, and they may be forced to do a reverse stock split. So you have to be aware that there could be a reverse stock split with it. That's why I look, this was play money that I threw in. I I got rid of um what was it AFC Gamma? I got rid of some stocks and I did a little tax loss harvesting. I, I still I mean eventually I may rebuy certain stocks, but I just had way too many, took a little bit of a hit, like you know, X amount of dollars and just threw it in there. Um somebody claimed that I threw um my shares into Walgreens into um, TSLY, which is not true. I actually threw it into Kroger, if you watch my previous videos. But again, I still have some, I, this is like play money. So it wasn't really, it wasn't really a big deal for me. I mean, now, you know, once I'm starting to be cutting and everything and being really careful with budgeting, I mean, I mean, the travel nurse pay was, it, it was nice. And I enjoyed myself. I went out a little bit more, um, but that money ain't going to be there for long. So now, okay, that's a big, you know, it is what it is, but it's going to be stuck. I'm telling you, it's going to be stuck. It's going it, to, it's not, I, I don't see it jumping 15. I can see it jump to eight, seven. Just, I mean, if Tesla does well, it does well. I'm still going to hold it. I mean, I'm getting really good passive income, and I'm going to jump to how much I earned on TSLY, NVDY, and CONY right now. So with NVDY, I made 112.61. CONY, I just started buying them. I'm at 119.09, and TSLY, I made $368.53. That's really nice, okay? Now, this is why I'm still going to maybe rebuy TSLY and E-Trade and then put that passive income into TSLY on here, okay? $600.23. That was a good amount with that, which was buying me dividend stocks. So the goal for this and and I'm going to tell you you're crazy if you try to focus on just a source of income with TSLY, CL1Y, and NVDY is to rely on, you know, retirement income or something. I mean, you're crazy. I mean, I would much rather, you know, I, I like this, 1365 with Pepsi, which hopefully will eventually be $100 quarterly, okay? Um versus uh you know the yield max etfs it's just not reliable so i'm using this to buy other stuff so let me show you what it bought me so six again 623 600 dollars and 23 cents so this got me okay based on this 277 dollars and 52 cents with mplx that bought me 7.4 shares it also bought me shares of Oak Tree Specialty Lending. I said I was going to rebuy them. I did. That got me 13 shares. And then Saratoga Investment Corp, that got me 2.1 shares. So, again, this is turbocharging my dividend portfolio. Eventually, the percentage on these high yielders is going to go to 2 or 1% because I'm not going to rely on these guys for passive income as well. I kind of like Agree Realty Corporation or Starbucks or Kroger, who's way more reliable. I, I mean, long-term reliability is the most important, okay? You don't want volatile income. You want stable, structured dividend income, dividend growth income. I, I like this. I don't like squiggly lines. I like... Nice slope. That's what you want with a dividend portfolio. You want to get yourself raises, consistent raises from very solid dividend growth stocks. You don't want to rely on the yield max ETFs. Okay? And I'm going to say this one more time. I did not buy 
I'm going to say this because some of you are probably seeing how much I earn just in case but and jumping the reviews and everything and the walkthroughs, but I did not buy Medical's Properties Trust in my last video. So I just want to go over my income and what I did, and I feel so much better. So I just wanted to show you what it bought me what I plan on doing with my dividend investing strategy and going from there. So if you're new to this YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. I'm going to have a video for you tomorrow, and thank you for your concerns. I'm feeling a lot better. Take care, and I'm going to jump to my disclaimer. So as a reminder, this is a disclaimer. Do not use this YouTube channel for any form of financial advice. Don't try to mimic everything I do. Everybody has a different investing strategy, okay? It is best to seek financial advice from a financial advisor or somebody give, that is certified to give financial advice. I am not a certified financial advisor, and I also have a description in my portfolio that I am not certified to give financial advice, and this is strictly for entertainment purposes only. I own shares in TSLY, NBDY, and CLNY. Something drastically happens. I can get rid of them. So nothing's set in stone with them. Make sure that you do your due diligence when you invest. You can gain money. You can lose money. You can lose money with TSLY. You can lose money with MPW. So be aware and be willing to take, if you're going to take a, a risk, Make sure you do your due diligence. Make sure you do a smart, educated um, investment. Don't rely on emotions when it comes to investing. So take care and have a great Friday.